Hello, my name is Daniel Kim and this is Info Plus. We have David Peterson Esquire and Marie Napoli Esquire from Napoli Peterson PLLC here today to discuss mass tort cases. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. First of all, I don't think our viewers know what mass tort cases are. Can you briefly explain what mass tort cases are? Sure. Um, a lot of lawyers are confused between mass tort and class actions. So mass tort is any case where you have a mass number of people suing for injuries against the same defendant. Um, uh, whereas class actions, you'll have one or two named plaintiffs in the action um, suing, at, uh, suing the same defendants. Uh, the major difference is in the mass tort, uh, each individual plaintiff is named in their action. Whereas, whereas in the class action, you'll only have a few named plaintiffs that will represent the whole class and will affect the rights of all those plaintiffs even though they're not named in the action. Generally, the damages vary much more in um, a mass tort than in a class action. Can you uh, give us an example? Sure. My firm represented uh, about 3,000 plaintiffs in a diet drug uh, litigation where we recovered over a billion dollars in settlements for our plaintiffs and that again was uh, a mass tort and not a class action. Are there any mass torts going on right now that our viewer base should know about? There are. Uh, transvaginal mesh litigation is going on right now and that's a mass tort. Um, transvaginal meshes are, are used uh, by women uh, sometimes after ch childbirth, sometimes for other re uh, reasons, usually uh, middle-aged women, and uh, they're used and complications have developed uh, over the last uh, few years. The FDA has issued warnings, and unfortunately more and more women are suffering as a result uh, of the use of these meshes. What other side effects can women suffer from TVM? Uh, well, TVM can cause bleeding, pain, um, it can migrate, uh, causing the original condition that the woman had um, the TVM placed to reoccur. It can harden, and so when it migrates, it can protrude into body organs, causing multiple problems. It can cause death. Um, there are some very serious injuries. It causes scarring. And um, a woman with uh, that's been suffering with these conditions can become depressed. It really affects the enjoyment of life for these women. And uh, I'd, I'd like to add that the problem often is it's not that easy to correct. Uh, if complications develop, uh, the problem is it often requires multiple surgeries to correct it. And, and not everybody's a surgical candidate. So uh, if complications develop, uh, the process that uh, to fix these complications is often long and uh, the results are not guaranteed. Can you describe the procedure of how a TVM is implanted? It's implanted vaginally. Um, are there any statistics of how many women have had TVM implants and how many of them suffering from injuries? The FDA came out with statistics. In 2008 there was a thousand people negatively affected by these side effects that we discussed earlier. And between 2008 and 2010, it came up to about 3,000 women. So the numbers seem to be increasing. Um, uh, they estimated that 10% of women that have the vaginal mesh implanted will have some kind of problems with that mesh. And, I mean, it should be noted that the use of the mesh has become uh, more and more prevalent. So. Um, the, those numbers are only going to increase. I think that consent, I think most people who are familiar with uh, the complications and are familiar with the issue uh, all agree on that, that those, uh, that those numbers are going to incre increase probably significantly. So what should women do if they have had a TVM implant and are suffering from these side effects? Well, the first thing is seek medical care. That's the first thing I would do. Uh, the second thing I would do is seek legal advice. Uh, I would. Uh, seek out an attorney who handles these type of cases. Uh, there are deadlines, as with any case, uh, and an attorney can educate you uh, as to the deadlines and as to what your rights are 
uh, it's important that your viewers know what their rights are with regard to any type of uh, mass tort. And there is compensation for these people um, in many of the cases if they're within those deadlines. So um, it's important that they do seek an attorney. Um, it's not that they will not be suffering, they still have their suffering, but at least it can ease their suffering, they'll be able to hire help, and um, uh, a lot of these people have lost a lot of time from work, so it will ease their suffering. Okay, well thank you again for coming in and Thanks being so informative on this matter. This is Info Plus, have a good night.